What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're back in Cooking Simulator. It's uh, finally got a release date according to Playway and according to the developers there. I want to thank the developers for sending me a new key for the beta version. They've done a bunch of updates, a bunch of new features that are installed and it's coming out on June 6th. Fingers crossed it was supposed to come out on December 6th. Ooh, what? What? But I've been playing it for a bunch uh, for about the past two hours and I'm really enjoying it. So I'm going to start a new game. Get you into it, and we're in it to win it. Lots of fun features. We're gonna probably have to go through now playing internet. What? <laughs> do you want to follow a tutorial during the first day? No, I do not. We're gonna go through all of this. We got our cooks, we got our cleanings, we got everything we needs, and we have some certain recipes. Now, skip preparation phase. What we're gonna have to do is we're gonna need to purchase some stuff. All right, let's bring you right there. Perfect. Uh, we need some liquids, don't we? Need more broth. Do we have some? Aha! We do have some. We're gonna need this. We have. Yeah, usually you start out with three different dishes, and we're just gonna need that right there. And as of right now, from what I can see, this is all we need to succeed. Drill, dill, yeah, yeah, salt. Oh, horseradish. Can't forget the horseradish. And let's close everything. Let's keep it chilly. Keep it chilly. All right. Skip preparation phase. Let's do it. <sighs> Gotta start the day. Let's get this knife right here. We're gonna place that down there. Tomato soup. Delicious. Chicken broth, salt, black pepper, cayenne pepper, tomato, onion. All right. So let's go ahead and we'll grab one of these pots right here. Drop it down, click on here, and we pour. 700 milligrams, milliliters. Oh, that's way too much. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. All right, now we'll need some black pepper. 20, or 12, 12, definitely not 20, oh my god. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Beautiful. Uh, uh, salt. Delicious. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we're going to need some cayenne pepper, about six, a little dash. Give me like six of them. 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Woo! Put you there. And then we add 8. Looks like uh, each tomato is 120 grams, so we're going to have to add 8 of them. Yes. So let's go ahead and we'll pick ourselves up some onion. One onion. One Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fantastic. Pop it down on here. Turn on the burner. Don't forget our blender. Gonna need our blender here. Now the green, as you can see the uh, status bars, when the onion and tomato are actually heating up faster than chicken broth are, and that's fine. That's fine. This could be a little oily. Do what we gotta do. Now, let's grab ourselves a bowl. A deep plate, if you will. So deep. Pop you there. Gonna need you there. And once everything is in the green, we'll then be able to mash them up. And then put it into a bowl, add some sour cream according to this, and we'll be on our way to making some money. Tomatoes. It's so close. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You know you want to. These people need food. They're hungry for tomato soup. Fantastic. Turn it off. Turn it off. And then down. And move it all around. Oh, it's so fantastic. Let's put you right there, tiger. Let's add some sour cream. And how much do they want? 150. Really? Okay. Now the liquids pour out super duper quick, bro, so you have to be wary. 114. Uh. Uh. All right, that'll do for now. Let's put that right there. Now, for the worst part, is pouring this into the dish. There's no, like, ladle or anything like that. I know, it's weird. So you just gotta... 300 milliliters, they said. 300 milliliters of soup. 
It's exactly how every Top Star chef would do this. They wouldn't make a whole bunch of tomato soup for the entire day just in case someone was hungry for it, you know? They would make it individually per person. Nine more milligrams. There we go. And it's hot and ready to rock and roll. Ready, set. Dish number one is in the b -b bank. Oh, can we take a picture of it? Oh, for the foodies out there. Oh, look at you. Here, quick. Let's go ahead. Depth of field. Oh, like you can get real fancy with it, huh? Interesting. Let's exit the photo mode. It's gonna be fine. People that take pictures of their food. I mean, I get it, but at the same time, it's getting cold. Look at that. Perfect five stars. Fame, eight out of eight out of thirty stars. So now, the more famous that you get, you get uh, critics to come in here. The more money that your uh, your dishes will get. Tip seven dollars. Plate return three dollars. Nice, nice. We're getting returns. Guests pay twenty two. So boom, boom, thirty two dollars. Guest complaints, no complaints because it's perfect. Practically perfect in every way. But once you get fame uh, notifications, then you get trophies. Then you can also unlock perks, skill points, and new dishes for your restaurant. To like catch out of nowhere now as far as the fun part got a new order everybody new order order up all right what we got here what we got here what we got here baked trout all right let's go ahead and grab a dish hop in hello there we go <laughs> all right we'll grab one of those traps right there baby we're gonna call this the mite trap because it comes up huge so Got the dill, so we need five grams of dill, thyme, and black pepper on a baking tray. So one, two, three, four, five. It says four grams. There, just another, just another dash. Some thyme. Of course, everything takes time. <laughs> right now, people are going boo. Oh, hold on, just gotta put that back up there. Black pepper. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right. Put it to a baking tray. Bake for 90 seconds. A little help. Pop you there. Crank it up, baby. Now we need to get ourselves a lemon and we need to quarter them. So let's grab a lemon. I'm going to pop you right there. Got our knife. It's like I'm like a regular Gordon Ramsay over here. All right, so we got a quarter of them. So let's go ahead and boop. Boop. It's about as good as I'm gonna get when it comes to knifing skills. When comes to knifing. So uh, once that is done baking, we'll then put some horseradish on it, plate it, and serve it up. Let's go ahead and get that plate right there. Are you done yet? There is a perk that you'll be able to uh, unlock that you can actually see if this is getting cooked bef uh, between the glass. That's definitely something I'm going to have to get right off the bat. So the leveling system here, I'll show you here in a second, can get pretty, it's pretty intense, bro. There's a lot of dishes that you can get. Are you done yet? Okay. Got recipe manager, not owned. Lots of lots and lots of different dishes that we can uh, get in. And I'm sure they're going to add some more perks, skill points, decorations for your crib. Can I get something that is anti dirt, please? For all of you people that have OCD, people that have some real problems with dirt and things like that, you're going to have a real problem with this game because, as you can see, anything that you spill gets a little bit of a thing right there. Any kind of machine starts getting uh, a couple of wears and tears on it. You'll then have to, oh, excuse me, have to close that. You'll then have to repair it, so it'll get real ugly real quick. And it's going to bug you. If it bugs you like it bugs me, it's going to bug you all day. So, all right, you should be, oh, you're so close. You're so close. You're so close. You're good. You're good. You're good, homie. My man. All right, pop you down here. Need some horseradish. Horseradish. One, two, three, four, five. Even though I... Alright. 
So here's the crapper when it comes to this. Oh, do I need a spatula? Where's my spatula at? Spatula? Because you can't... You can't touch this. Ugh, this is going to be rough. Perfect. I couldn't have put it perfecter. More, many, much more perfect. All right. I have to look for the spatula for sure. Let's quote, get these quartered lemons, kind of quartered. Add some parsley to three sprigs of parsley. Down you go. Rock and roll. Three minutes left to spare. Ah, uh, five stars. We're so good. Once you get the tutorial mission down, once you get like these three main dishes are tomato soup, you got a uh, fried salmon or yeah, pan seared salmon and baked trout. You're going to knock these out of the park, no doubt. Any complaints? Of course not. Complaints. Complaints. Where's the spatula at? Because we're going to need it for this one. Um. Well, crap. Let's go ahead and get some utensils. Utensils. Spatula. Hey, all right. These things are the worst things in the entire game, from what uh, from what I can gather. All right. So, okay. Season with five things of salt, salmon fillet. We're gonna need a pan. All right. So we got to put in ten milliliters of sunflower oil. First things first, let's put this on a flat surface. Ten milliliters. Boop you in there. And I'll tell you what, we'll take that. Into the into the dish. We go. Let's pop this on here. Let's grab some salt. Salt five grams. One, two, three, four, five. And some pepper. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. One, two, three, four, five. Also, we're gonna need a pot. We gotta get some water. Drop it in here, move this over. Let's get some cool water. Have the kind that you spray on yourself. Make yourself smell all kinds of delicious to the ladies. One jug of that. And we'll need for the pot, if you add to the pot baked potatoes, 20 grams of salt. Lots of salt. We need some salt. You always need salt when you're boiling water. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Wunderbar. Put you right there. Uh, we'll put you into the pan because you're all seasoned. So, yeah, yeah, all right. And it's going to be 60 seconds per side. Now we're going to need two potatoes. That's a lemon. Don't want a lemon. Did I put a lemon in there? I don't want a lemon. Get that lemon out of there. No! Need the potato, boil them, mash them, put them in a stew. Let's go ahead and crank this on a while. And... Boom. In the drink you go. Let's go ahead and grab a plate. The salmon filet. She is almost she is almost good on that side, so I have a feeling it's gonna get a little cold. Hopefully it won't get too cold. The potatoes are gonna be gonna take me a little extra time. A little extra time. All right, now the fun part. Flipping this jam. All right, so check this out. You gotta click on the dish. You gotta click on the tray. You gotta rotate it and flip. Hey, look at that. First try. Everyone see that? Because it'll never happen again. Uh, so this actually will take a uh, little stuff at the end here. Now, normally at the end of the day, it'll give you about three minutes to go ahead and prepare these lemons are so good. 
These are still good levels. I already paid for I paid for them. I get to keep them. That's almost done. Now, right now, we can't touch the hot things. So, we're going to do what we can. Try and get these potatoes out of here. I may need to get some tongs. First things first, though. Boom. Boom. No. Wrong. Wrong! On the plate. Hey, look at that. Look like magic. That potato's done. That potato's done. Like a work of art. Now, you have to be careful, though. Because if you go too fast and you start knocking into stuff, you'll break a dish. And then you gotta get a whole brand new dish and then play the five second rule, you know what I'm saying? Look at that, five stars. Everything's just perfect. We're just knocking them out of the park. Guess complaints? Heating mistakes? How dare you? Too much salt? Is there is there such a thing? You gained enough cooking points to unlock a new recipe. Use an app on your laptop to do it. Oh my god, we got new orders too. Alright, let's turn you off. Pop you out, in you go, out. 96 milliliters, which means we'll need 54 milliliters left. Fifty-four, uh, perfect, ish, esque. All right, come here. Let's do this again. Like every every Michelin star, it's exactly. Don't get a ladle. Fifty. Ugh. Nailed it. <laughs> Here's your overabundance of tomato soup. Enjoy that. Rate me. Rate me. Boom, 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 boom. Thirty-one out of thirty. Do it and do it again. Tomato soup technique. Wrong amount of product. Yeah. Yeah, I was off by like a hundred. You're welcome. Once you finish, we're closing down for the night. No more new orders. Nice. So skip cleaning phase? No. No, we're not skipping that. Can't skip that. Can't skip the cleaning phase when you're in the kitchen. All right. So let's go ahead and we'll... Uh, we're just going to dump that out. <laughs> dump that out. We'll pop that here. Now, for everyone's OCD nightmare, let's go ahead and we'll start... Cleaning our whole area here. Everything is lovely, lovely, wonderful. Boop. I mean, I just made a mess all over everything here. Um, let's clean. Whoa. Sometimes it's not as intuitive as you, as you like it to be. It's like super duper close, bro. I just, I just want to clean the countertops because the gross. But like. I don't know why it gets that super duper close, but you get the gist. And we got about three minutes to do this. Do this, let's see. Nah. Okay, okay. You know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take you. I'm gonna move you over here. This is where you belong. This is where you belong. Speaking about things where they belong, let's get the Swiffer. Let's get a Swiffer Sweeper. And we'll get up all that crazy gunk and muck and all that nasty doodads and whatnots of crap. All right. Put that back. All right, so we're pretty much cleaned up for the day. So let's check it out. All right, so recipe manager. They're going to not own. They're probably going to give us a couple things to unlock because we gained these chef points. Points used. You can't really see it. It's off the screen. But they give us so many, uh, so many different chef points for all the good deeds that you get, and then the more that you unlock. 
the more dishes that you can get into your restaurant, which will have varying degrees of technique. Hmm. Looks like the ones we got available was like pork chops and baked potatoes or simple Ukrainian borscht. Now perks, probably give us that in a second. Basic, we're so basic. All right. Let's go ahead and skip it. We're all done. Skip cleaning phase. It'll lead us into something here. There we go. Cooking point 16. Hey, look at that. Orders, finished orders, four at four. Expenses, 90C. Meals, income, $111. Tips, 33. Total income, we made 54C. Whatever that is. Cash, dollars, dinero, pesos. Whatever you want to call it. Tomorrow, we're going to be visited by a food critic. Impress him, and everyone's going to hear about us. Indeed. Now we get to the skill points, daily rewards, XPs, new perks are available. Let's choose our perks. Steady hands, hold down to freeze items in place. No, no, no. Heat proof gloves. So I can just pick things up straight out of the, uh, straight out of the fire. It's like a Duran Duran song. Now, upgrade your skills. There are so many skills that you can go ahead and get. All these will cost one skill point. Second tier will be two skill points. Third tier will be three skill points. So on and so forth. <gasps> Cheaper kitchen decorations, experience boost, dish streak, fame boost. It's all dependent on what you want to get. Now, I'm going to get cheaper products. I'll level that up. I'm also going to get... Uh, dish income guests pay 10, 30 to 50% more uh, for their orders without affecting the score. Take that. Quest reward boost your rewards from daily requests are 10% larger. Eh, I'm not too worried about the XP because I enjoy the cooking aspect of the game. Cheaper recipes, we do that. How about cheaper spices? Because we're going to need, how about cheaper liquids? Is there any cheaper liquids? Cheaper repairs, recipes, cheaper products? Cheaper liquids, because we're going to go through a whole bunch of liquids. Like just the chicken broth alone, just for one tomato soup, takes the entire thing. So it's expensive. Let's go ahead and level that up. And then you start the next day. And just like a job, just like any business, you get up and you do it again. But folks, Cooking Simulator is here. We're going to do a bunch of different episodes coming out. So if you enjoy these videos and you want to see more, let me know in the comment section down below. Hit that like button and make sure you hit the subscribe and all the bells and all the subscribe buttons. to the subscribe buttons if you can. And we get ready to rock and roll. With some more Cooking Simulator. This game is dope. It has its issues like every other uh, simulator game for sure. Like uh, take for instance, I just want to put this on here. And it just falls right off. Put the blender over here. Maybe I can put it all the way back. There we go. There we go. Now it's a little easier. We also have timers. Um, one thing I haven't gotten into is the repairs. For any kind of repair that you need to get into, you have to grab your phone. Pick up the phone to dial the repairman. Hey, Mr. Repair. And see, the wrench will pop up. And then Nice Corp. Mr. Nice Guy. We'll cut 98%. Let's go ahead and repair it. And then they come over. They repair it for you. Usually, depending on uh, how awful it is, like how many repairs that you need. It'll take anywhere between 10 seconds to a minute and 30 seconds, but if you're in the middle of making a high-priced dish for a very important customer, it could cost you a bunch. Right now we're in the preparation phase in case anything is uh, missed or you want to organize your stuff here. You're more than welcome to do that. This is mainly our prep area here. So we got all of our spices, all of our liquids except for... Let's go ahead and move this over here. That's fancy. But folks! If you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button. Helps out my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos are coming out every single day, every single week. Folks, have a great day, afternoon, evening, a good night. Peace out, I shout y'all. And I will check you out right here again in Cooking Simulator next time. This game is dope. I want to play more.